Hi, I would like to speak to somebody who can speak the Chinese. What the hell? <laughs> So I saw this trend where the girls ask their boyfriends if they can see their phones and get their reactions. So I'm gonna get my boyfriend's reaction. Babe, let me see your phone. Wait, let me see your titties. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. If you look to the right side of your aircraft, you will notice flight 198 challenging us to a race. I've turned the fast and seatbelt sign back on because shit is about to get real. One house, three guests. No one can leave. This is quarantined. Good morning. Why are you talking to me this early? It's 11 a.m. Do not talk to me this early. It's 1.30 p.m. Put the camera away. Put the camera away. Brett needs a cookie. I made you peanut butter cookies. Your favorite. That is my favorite. I love peanut butter. Hey, can you help me mow the grass? You know how busy I am right now. He's unemployed. Captives, for today's challenge, you must come to a unanimous decision on how to set the lights while watching a movie. I'm done with this. Go to your All I'm saying is if we give everybody a hit of acid, they won't be bored for 8 to 12 hours. And they won't go outside because of the fucking dragons. Lama, 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 lama. <laughs> you don't have a double chin. What you do have is bad posture. So all you need to do is two steps. Bring your shoulders up, back, and down. Bring your chin slightly forward and then slightly down. And look at the difference that makes. Hey mom, what's the difference between a light bulb and a pregnant woman? What, Jesse? You can unscrew a light bulb. <laughs> hey! Liam, pick up the socks. Pick up the socks. I know you didn't put them on the floor. Get over here and pick up these damn socks. Fat boy. Hey! <laughs> I would like to thank you for guarding me while I poop. You, uh, you took a job that nobody wanted and you really stepped up to the plate. I salute you. Hey. Hey. Do you know why God invented yeast infections? Oh, Jesus. Like, really? <laughs> Some women would know what it's like to live with an irritating cunt, too. <laughs> <laughs> you are such an asshole. My mom said I am no longer allowed to play with sticks outside because I eat them and swallow them and shit them out and my asshole bleeds. It's not my fault they taste fucking better than my shit brown dog food that smells like dead fish. Fuck her and her fucking no stick rule she is a fat fucking bitch. Caution. Danger. Yeah, no fucking shit, bud. Fuck me, boys. I'm higher than giraffe nuts right now. Who's got a penny? I want to make a wish for my ex to get her bedtime toy mixed up with a curling iron. Fuck. My girlfriend threw out my food. Baby, I didn't mean to. Why are you looking left? Because you didn't do me right. So why are you looking right? Because I should have left. Now I'm looking down because you're always fucking up. Now I'm looking up because you always let me down. Today I was telling my mother about my overwhelming desire to be skinny and she said, you know, I was wondering when you would notice how thick your thighs are getting. And I have to pretend that I am okay with hearing that. <laughs> North Korea, you better watch out. We're getting ready to start launching rednecks at you. Please tell me why I'm going into Walmart in an oversized t-shirt and shorts and somebody comes up to me and they're like, oh my God, are you wearing shorts underneath that? Um, no, Karen. I thought today would be a good day to fucking walk around bare puss in a fucking Walmart. From the bottom, now we're here. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
was talking to my boy the other day and he's like, yo, Kev, he said, my girl had a real blind moment the other day. I said, what you mean? He said, uh, well, the kids was over at the grandparents' house. He said, so we decided to sunbathe nude. Like, Y'all was out back naked? He said, yeah. He said, well, we stayed out there too long. And he said, my manhood got burnt. I was like, I said, oh. He said, yeah. He said, one of the most painful things I've ever been through. He said, so I went to the doctor. He said, the doctor told me to soak it in milk to relieve the pain. I said, you say what? He said, yeah. I said, wow. He said, well, that ain't the thing. He said, well, I went home. He said, I started soaking it in a bowl of milk. He said, when my girl come in, she was like, what the hell? He's like, what? She was like, is that how y'all reload it? I said, bruh, really? Yo, I need to process this. So I was in the grocery store, minding my own business, as one should. And I kept getting stares, which I understand why, because look at all this. No, I'm kidding. It's apparently because my jean shorts are too short. It made me uncomfortable. But alas, I'm a strong gal, I just keep a strolling. And I noticed that there's this older man who keeps a walking behind me. I'm thinking, what's good, Bubba? Well, he approaches me and he says this. Yes, this is true, buckle up. <laughs> Ma'am, you're not wearing a whole lot of clothing. You're gonna make men stumble. And I said, sir. Are you saying you're falling head over heels in love with me? <laughs> he didn't think that was funny. He said, when girls like you wear clothing like that, it's very difficult for boys and men like me to control my thoughts and actions. <laughs> I said, sir, if you and others can't control your thoughts and actions, you shouldn't be leaving the house because you're a predator. Let me hear you. Hey, Mom. Hmm. So a family are checking into a hotel room and they go to their front desk and the dad walks up to the front desk and goes, is your porn disabled here? And the guy looks at him weird and goes, No, we have regular porn, you sick fuck. <laughs> That's me, dude. That's me. This is such a beautiful place. You can see for miles and miles. Beautiful rocks, sun shining on the sand. And boy, I wish one of you guys would go down and get me some marijuana. <laughs> so my grandmother was riding with me the other day. Um, had to take her to go pay some bills. Well, she's reading this new book called The Exorcist. I'm like, Grandma, why are you reading that? Like, you know that book's scary. She's like, no. She's like, it's freaking me out. Well, she rolls the window down and tosses it out the window as we're crossing over bridge and it goes into the lake. I'm like, Grandma, you know I'm a cop. Are you trying to get me jammed up for litter? She said, I don't care. I don't want anything else to do with that book. It freaks me out. So yesterday I went and bought the same book, submerged it in water, put it in her nightstand drawer. I can't wait to see that reaction. Baby, baby, real quick, got one for you. Got one for you. <laughs> a boy is selling fish on the corner. To get his customer's attention, he is yelling, damn fish for sale. Get your damn fish here. A pastor heals him and asks, why are you calling them damn fish? The boy responds, because I caught the fish at the local dam. The pastor buys a couple of fish, takes them home to his wife and asks her, cook the damn fish. The wife responds, surprising, I didn't know it was acceptable for a preacher to speak that way. He explains to her why they are damn fish. <laughs> Later that night at the dinner table, he asks his son to pass the damn fish. His son responds, that's the spirit, Dad. Now pass the effing potatoes. <laughs> I get a call for a possible domestic in progress dispatch advice she can hear a female screaming in the background i have an officer who's assisting me so we both rush over there real quick jump out of our patrol cars and start running to the front door well a man comes running out the front door screaming and there is a female right on his heels holding some type of frying pan well as soon as the male gets to me he jumps behind me as the other officer who was assisting me grabs the female well we get her detained until we can figure out what's going on i separate both parties I walk to the man and I'm like, sir, what's going on? He said, nothing, officer, it's just a misunderstanding. I'm like, no, it's more than just a misunderstanding when this young lady is trying to cause you bodily harm with a frying pan. He said, honestly, sir, he said, it's been seven days since we've had any type of extracurricular activity. And he said, I'm getting tired of her using some of her toys. He said, so tonight when she went to use her toy, I put Icy Hot on it. I said, sir, you did what? He said, yes, sir. I'm like, she could have killed you.
Thank you for being a friend. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Travel down the road and back again. Hey, so we started from the bottom, now we're here, girl. Oh, yeah.